Hello my friends, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos. Today I'm visiting the beautiful country of Romania here in Europe and I'm visiting an area of Romania called Transylvania. In this particular video we're going to visit the heart and the hub of Transylvania, the beautiful medieval city of Brasov. We're going to walk around and admire the architecture of the medieval walls built in the 14th century. We're going to admire the walls of, on the eastern side of the city, but there is something really very disappointing on the western side. This is Vic. Let's go for a long walk. Let's do it. Okay, my friends, let's start our tour of the medieval walls of the beautiful city of Brasov here in Transylvania in Romania. Let's uh, come down to the southern side of the city and of the walls and let's view the magnificent St. Catherine's Gate, one of the major landmarks of Brasov. If you see any photographs or videos from this beautiful city, without a doubt, you're going to see this magnificent gate. This gate dates from 1559, when the Saxons, the Germans, were here and when they had control of Brasov. It was the only gate at the time in order to exit the southern side of Brasov, in order to visit the Shke neighborhoods of Brasov. The neighborhoods where the Romanians lived. The Romanians were not allowed inside the city. They lived outside, behind me, in an area called Shke. We're going to see later on another gate that was built for the Romanians. But in the 1550s, up to 1828, this was the main entrance into the city, the main exit from the southern side of the city. And uh, here's the very busy Shke gate, S-C-H-E-I gate, that opened up 100 meters east from St. Catherine's Gate in 1828. And this gate gave access to the Romanians, access to the interior of the medieval city of Brasov to the Romanians that lived outside the city. It is now a very busy thoroughfare, as you can see here. I'm now in the southern side of Brasov, and here's the southeastern corner of the original defensive walls of Brasov. You can see the huge fort. You can see part of the walls right next to the fort, right there, right next to the tennis courts that you see here. You can see a very small part of the defensive walls, but we can certainly see this huge fort that formed the southeastern corner of the defensive walls. This fort was the weaver's fort. Every profession here in Brasov owned part of the fort, and this is where the weavers were located. They were responsible for defending this corner of the city. And uh, here is a very first view of the eastern defensive walls of Brasov. If I turn around, here we see the huge fort, the weaver's fort, that we saw from the other side. Unfortunately, it is all boarded up and very neglected looking. Now let's walk along the eastern walls and the very first thing we'll notice is that these are very typical German walls. We see the architecture, we see that uh, the top of the walls was covered and we see that architecture in a lot of German towns that still have defensive walls from medieval times. A good example would be Nuremberg. 
here is a very good example of the walls right there. And in this part of the walls you can see the original height of 12 meters. Then the wall gets much shorter. It's about 6 meters over here and directly ahead of us another tower. This is the Rope Makers Tower, which indicates that in this neighborhood the professionals that used to live in this neighborhood were responsible for selling and making rope. And the architecture of the tower, once again, is very, very similar to the towers that we see in a lot of existing medieval walls and fortifications in today's Germany. And uh, about 150 meters further along towards the northern direction we find another tower. This is the Hunter's Tower, indicating that it was uh, built around the area where hunters used to live. Let's continue our walk towards the northern direction. There's a couple more towers we need to look at and then we have to go and visit the western side of the walls which is completely different and very disappointing and you will see why. Okay, let's walk closer to the walls now. You can see the walls to my left, right there. And in this uh, location, they're about 12 meters in height. You can see them right there. And this is a ditch that was uh, dug by the Germans in the 14th century. This was not a water filled in canal. This was a ditch that would make it more difficult for the enemies to attack directly the walls. So the enemy soldiers would be stuck here as they attempted to climb the walls and they would be easy prey from the soldiers above. And here's another tower and this is the Carpenter's Tower. And once again, that would indicate that in the neighborhood inside the walls, there would be an area where carpenters would live and work. Okay, the Tower of the Carpenters is behind me and now we are reaching the round tower on the e eastern side of the walls. In my opinion, this is the most beautiful site of the towers after viewing St. Catherine's Gate. This is an original massive round tower. It's actually an additional fort attached to the original medieval walls. What would happen here is if the enemy was able to penetrate and get inside the city, the defenders would enclose themselves inside this tower and the enemy would have to take this tower as well. You can see the openings around the tower that would give the soldiers the opportunity to fight and to fire missiles on the enemy soldiers below. And uh, right behind the beautiful tower that we just saw, we find a very small part of the walls that has been completely reconstructed. And as a result, it doesn't look like anything that we saw so far. So we're going to forget about this part. And this is the northeastern corner of the medieval walls of the city of Brasov. And if we were to run from here towards the western direction, there would be no walls. There are no walls on the northern and or the southern side. The southern side just has the two gates that we saw. Now, let's uh, visit the western side of the walls first thing tomorrow morning. And let's see why I think this is one of the most disappointing historic sites to visit here in Brasov. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, let's uh, walk along the western defensive walls of the medieval city of Brasov. You can see the walls to my right. 
to my left there's a small creek. This is a very scenic walk indeed and a very popular one as well. The unfortunate thing is there is a lot of graffiti on the historic medieval walls unfortunately. We also see a lot of graffiti inside the medieval city of Brasov on the historic buildings. I was here 10 years ago and there was a lot of graffiti. It seems to me it has multiplied tremendously and that's a very very disappointing thing about Brasov. Nothing is done to eliminate this ugliness on the historic sites. Well that's the uh, famous black church in the southern part of medieval Brasov. And if I turn around, we see one of the most famous landmarks, the Black Tower. It's not black, it's actually white in a square tower built in the 15th century as an observation and as a military tower. It gave the occupants great visibility they could see all around the valley where Brasov is built at. It's closed and yes there's a lot of graffiti up here as well. All the sites that we will see concerning the defensive walls of Brasov show incredible degrees of neglect unfortunately. And uh, here is a view of the major landmark of the White Tower here in Brasov. It's about 300 meters south from the Black Tower. Whereas the Black Tower is actually an observation tower and it's only 20 meters in height. This one is not a tower, it's an actual fort of about 30 meters in height and you can fit about 10 black towers in it. And it is truly magnificent, or it could have been magnificent, but for the graffiti all around its base right there. You can see, if you were able to go to the top, the whole medieval town of Brasov right below you, if you were to stand on that balcony up there. Okay, let's uh, get down from the hill where we visited the two towers and let's walk along the western walls of medieval Brasov towards a northern direction. You can see the creek to my left. The walls at one point were about 12 meters high. Throughout the centuries, the locals have borrowed a lot of materials from the walls in order to build their own housing. And if you see the walls now, you can tell they have been shortened considerably. In front of us, there's a bastion. A bastion is an extension of the wall that acts as an extra fort. It's about 150 meters ahead of us as we're viewing the horrible graffiti on such an incredibly historic site. Let's go see the bastion. Here's the creek. I'm still walking along the western side of the defensive walls. And here's the bastion that I mentioned to you a few seconds ago. It, it rises for about 18 meters in height. There's a lot of graffiti all over here. Let's go through the arch. The arch allowed the creek to flow through medieval times. And one could only imagine how beautiful the area could have been if it was completely painted and cleaned up. Look at this. Incredible. It's really a, 
an area that would have been absolutely beautiful. And it's very, very disappointing. If you spend a lot of money to come to Brussels and decide to walk around the defensive walls. This point here of your tour would really, really disappoint you. And this is the end of the western walls. We walked for about 600 meters from the southern point to the northern point. So what do you think? We really admired the architecture of Catherine's Gate on the southern part of the defensive walls. We enjoyed walking along the eastern walls and we saw some parts of the original architecture of the walls including the towers and also the round towers that we saw in the northeastern corner. But what about the western walls? All that graffiti really ruins this historic site. And what really amazes me is that the local government here, they're doing absolutely nothing to clean it up. And that's so disappointing because they cleaned up the western side of the walls and painted them all around, with the exception of the northern side that has no walls. It would have been an absolutely fascinating walk if you visit the beautiful city of Brasov. This is Vic. Thank you for joining me all the way from Brasov here in Transylvania in Romania. Bye-bye.